Hey YouTube, this is Pamela, this is Crafting Commentary. And right now I'm focusing in on uh, my computer screen uh, and uh, just focusing in on a video I did recently of a junk journal. Uh, and uh, I'm going to put a link below to that video right now. I uh, just want to tell all you folks, mostly at Junk Journal Junkies, uh, that uh, I am, uh, just want to demonstrate that I'm going to be an active participant in this awesome club. And uh, so uh, that's something you can see, uh, that video. Uh, right now I want to uh, focus in on... Uh, three junk journals and uh, here is uh, right now here's the one that the video above so uh, that's journal number one I'm going to link to the video I did for that And here is junk journal number two. And I'm going to link to the video about this. This is actually a glorified junk journal to-do list. And enjoy that. But the main event is this guy. This guy. Okay. And I want to get just the right lighting here. And I'll give you a quick, quick view. And the main event here is this interesting binding uh, that I attempted. So let me get this going. So uh, just want to tell everybody at Junk Journal Junkies how very happy I am to be part of the group. I love all you guys. Oh, that light's a bit much, isn't it? And how inspirational you are for me, inspiring. Uh, already I'm heading right into the flip. As you can see, I use security paper. I'm using construction paper. Those are the main things, just a little bit of vellum here and there. And I am into jelly plate printing, mono printing. And uh, here we go. This is 10 signatures. And each signature has 32 pages. So that's a, this is a 320 page junk journal. And it is all security paper on the backs of the security paper. For the most part, I did a, a jelly, uh, sort of mostly pastel colors because it is a, a journal. So I wanted to give anybody who used this uh, a chance to easily write. So I used uh, light colors. You can use a nice black pen and you're good. Uh, I want to uh, just tell everybody right away before I forget um, how happy I am to be part of Junk Journal Junkies. Uh, I have, I love all of you. I have learned so much from you. I've been uh, doing this craft thing for about a year, and uh, I've learned so much. Uh, and I feel like uh, I have found uh, my calling. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. And I want to just uh, just tell you all why I, I think that the whole junk journal world is, is just the greatest. Uh, I live in New York City, as some of you know. If you follow my channel, and I hope you all start channel uh, start following, that you know here in New York City, if you haven't heard, 
everything is hyped up, overblown, um, ridiculously. And I uh, want to just say in contrast uh, why you guys shine so much in comparison. Come to New York City uh, and as I do, ride your bike with me down Park Avenue and uh, I, it just so happens that two, three, four times a week I'm riding my bike on Park Avenue. It's just the route I take. It's the safest. And um, I get to 57th Street and I see this, these big murals up there uh, for auctions that are taking place and I see uh, all these uh, Uh, auctions for million dollar pieces of art and I look at the murals and I look at the art and I say <laughs> that's nice but I don't think it's worth 1.2 million dollars <laughs> and so um, there's that you know where art is kind of loses its way uh, and where art might have had some virtue and something great and nice about it but when the investors start getting involved and people start seeing art as an investment um, uh, then it, it's no fun anymore can't be fun and I, I just want to I want to throw that out because I, I just want people to know that what you have is so much more valuable than what we have here at Junk Journal Junkies. You know, we have beautiful things, we have s sensual things, our, our art journals are sensual. You know, uh, when we, especially the crinkle papers and that, and the colors and the textures, uh, we have something greater than those million dollar auctions. Uh, we've got something beautiful, something sensual, and we have friendship and, and we have genuine um, caring and, and concern and, and sharing. And those things are worth more than gold. Uh, so, uh, just be happy where you are. You know, you may have your Pinterest or your, uh, uh, you know, some kind of SD uh, web pages and that where you make a few books here and there or even uh, a lot of books. But it's nowhere near a million. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And um, so, you know, just, just avoid that other world like the plague if you can and uh, just stick right here junk journal junkies this is here's nirvana and uh, again i just adore all of you and i want to be part of this this awesome club of, of people with the biggest hearts um you can imagine uh so i want to you know kind of talk about this uh i use jelly plate monoprinting. That's my thing, boy. Oh, God. Um, I'm a little bit cuckoo on it re lately, and I've mentioned that in some other videos. I want to see some of that texture there. And I also like, uh, as I made an another video before, uh, showing the raw material of my security envel envelopes, uh, my husband and I run a, a retail store in New York City, and uh, it's a it's a going concern. It is one um, a very uh, bustling business here, and we get a lot of mail. And I do the cash flow and that, and I do a lot of other things. But uh, I get a ton of mail, and. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I get so many envelopes, uh, I was just cutting them down all days about a week ago, and uh, I still have <laughs> a big stack. <laughs> um, 
anyway, so I, I did uh, jelly plate printing. If you're not familiar with jelly jelly plate printing, go to Jelly Arts, two words, G-E-L-L-I, um, and see about, they have at least 50, 60, 80 uh, videos there, all tutorials, and they've got something new just about every single week. Um, new techniques, and uh, one of the, real soon, I'm going to be doing a video showing you all the textures that I, I have, I've collected. I go on eBay, I'm an eBayer, and uh, I, for example, this texture that you see here, is um, was one of these uh, it's a, made of plastic and you can buy these things uh, and uh, with the jelly plate you have the uh, paint that goes down on the um, on the uh, silicone slab uh, that's what I call it and it's like thin thin layer of acrylic paint and then you disrupt it in some way with some kind of um, something, uh, anything from a fork to a cookie cutter to a uh, uh, core of a uh, 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 paper towel or, um, I mean, it's endless. But you can buy textures, and I have purchased uh, at least about $100 worth of textures on eBay. And uh, so... Um, some of these, like I say, uh, these are pastel colors because I want to stick with the uh, intent of, of this item, which is that it is a journal and you want to be able, you can easily write on, on here um, with a black pen and it would show up. So I, 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 I put pastel on the backs of nearly every single one of these uh, security envelopes. So I love the colors, I love the textures, I love the the spirit of junk journal junkies, and um, uh, you all need to congratulate yourself for for keeping keeping your heart. And um, I guess I appreciate that more than maybe you all do, because it's just something that you is part of your life. But let me tell you, this town, uh, New York City, you know everybody's. It's it's the city of hype, you know, and everybody's hyping this and that, and they just can't just live their life, you know. I noticed that with, for example, the the, the theater. Uh, I used to live in Chicago, and uh, the theater there is much less uh, hyped up. And of course, the theater there is eight times better than the theater here in New York. And of course, New York is known for theater, <laughs> but. I have long ago given up on on um, the theater here because it it just has so much to prove. It's so hyped up that it just again it loses its way. And uh, you know it's ironic, isn't it? It's very ironic. It, it's not supposed to be that way. And but when you look at um, you know, you go to these auction houses and like a Andy Warhol uh, uh, painting is going for $1.2 million. Uh, you know, there's something really, really, really wrong with that. So um, I have a bit of fantasy, and that is that um, I'm going to really kind of get better and better and better with these junk journals. And I think that that the world needs. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe I shouldn't do this, <laughs> but I think that maybe the world needs to see. You know, needs to recognize the art that is here in our our craft world. And uh, the mainstream world has not recognized the craft world. It's very, it's almost like 
uh, now I don't want to use the word, but it's sort of like a little ghetto, you know. Um, the the mainstream world knows nothing about about this, you know. General public doesn't really know much things. They say, oh, those those scrapbookers, you know, and uh, that. But um, I think that they really need to recognize uh, this this uh, junk journal world, and um, it's it's. It, that it is an art, and it needs to be recognized that way. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should just leave well enough alone, you know, because um, uh, you know what it is 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 a good place for it to be. So anyway, I want to uh, reiterate uh, that I'm new to Junk Journal Junkies, and. Uh, I think it was Yvonne who nominated me, <clears throat> allowed me in the group, and I want to thank you so much for that, because you don't know a, a more enthusiastic newcomer than myself, and uh, I just want to show off my stuff. I want to get involved with all the all the activities of of this uh, this club, this Facebook page. I um, want to talk a little bit about, you know, some of the techniques here. Again, I use uh, construction paper, I, and uh, I, I find that uh, what's great about construction paper is it's very colorful to start with. You know, already, like, you're starting with a red piece of paper here, and uh, let's see, here as well, you know, and... Uh, I see the color of the paper as part of uh, the art aspect, and then I also use the security paper, which I I, I just like the very uh, variety of it. Uh, I love the fact that you're announcing to the world that you're repurposing something that was um, was most people would consider uh, belongs in the trash. Um, so here's you know these plastic plates. Uh, textures that I, I bought. And I had just a great time uh, working with that. Um, what I do is I actually make large jelly play prints. Um, I have I use a jelly plate, the commercial brand, but I also use homemade ones as well. Um, and some of my other videos I have a recipe for that. And I have discussions about that. Uh, uh, and then I I cut my pages down. As you can see, they all the, the design bleeds off the page. So I use a uh, um, Fisker's trimmer, which I love. And uh, normally I use the We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, 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 cinch binding. So all of these, you know, I use cinch binding. But um, I thought I would uh, take a stab at. This is not crop Coptic stitch. It's a little bit of a homemade version I made, which works just fine, which is plain old strength. And um, just love those textures and the color combinations. So we're getting to the end here. I'm going to have to speed it up because I don't have much more time here. I want to keep it under 20 minutes. But uh, So uh, again, uh, this is Pamela Rice. This is Craft and Commentary. And uh, I am um, a newcomer to Junk Journal Junkies. And this week I've been very, very, very busy with this uh, junk journal and uh, these two others that I showed at the beginning and are in the background there. <laughs> I love the colors. This colors is crazy. I love it. And uh, you can't get enough of this. And I love how they're nice and chunky and um, it's very, very sensual kind of stuff. We're getting to the end here. Just uh, show a few more pages here. This one's nice. 
So thumbs up, people. Love to hear your comments. And I uh, hope you subscribe. And I hope you look at my channel and see the other videos that I have done. I love that. <laughs> Looks like candy cigarettes or something in a row. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.